many times when you talk about, you know, sitting with yourself, people say that maybe the first quality that you have to think of is loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's where you start and then you go further with the other aspects. Mm. Uh, what would you say to that? Yeah, it's a very subtle thing. We have developed subtle dislikes about ourselves mm -hmm. or subtle disapprovals of ourselves or actually even expectations or wanting to relive our lives in the way that others want us to live them. Okay. And we don't even realize that this is how we think about our lives. Am I doing the way society expects me, me to, to do it or will I be approved by what I do and how I dress and how I look and how I speak and what my social status is and if I'm not like that then will the society reject me mm -hmm. or will disapprove of me and so these are the subtle ways in which we then turn it around and we have disapproval of our own selves mm -hmm. and so when you talk about loving yourself um, I, I equate this with this, that I feel that I, I need to live my life in the way that I should, mm -hmm. inverted commas, live. But there is no such thing as should. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of pain and sorrow and suffering yeah. that's accumulated inside yes. of us from our own past negative experiences, mm -hmm. which are sometimes inevitable in life. Mm -hmm. But we suppress our emotions from a very young age things that happen to us that we are not able to evaluate, things that happen to us that we don't understand. Right. So when those strong emotions come, we suppress them. And those suppressed emotions actually become lethal mm. for our own selves. Mm. And so those turn into dislike and displeasure towards our own selves. But then actually we project it by having disapproval and dislikes for other people. So when I look around me and I don't like this and I don't like that and I don't like the other, actually I have to turn around and look at my own self and think, well, is this how I think about my own self too? Mm. And 9.9 .9 out, out of 10, it's probably the case that okay. I'm thinking okay. about my own self in that way. And so then to turn this around, instead of saying, well, I mustn't think about that with other people, about other people, I first of all need to look at my own self. self. How do I disapprove of my own self? Mm -hmm. And that's where this whole aspect of loving yourself, accepting yourself, okay. because every single human being actually, ultimately, and it starts with me, I'm a, I'm a good being, mm. I'm a spiritual being, and therefore love, peace, and joy yeah. are my intrinsic nature. Right. It's just that when I start to live my life on the basis of ego, which is really on the basis of the emptiness that mm -hmm. exists inside mm -hmm. my own self, then a life of falsehood, falsehood begins. Starts, yeah. You've given a very beautiful understanding of, um, you know, what we see outside is nothing but a reflection of what's within us. And, um, you know, a lot of times this does happen. If, um, you know, I'm, say, um, critical of a person, say, about his appearance, so maybe that means that I'm not happy with my own appearance. Yeah, and that, again, like you said, has come way back somewhere, maybe from childhood or maybe even from the previous births. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, and, you know, previous birth, we don't know. Definitely that there is an influence mm -hmm. of the previous birth. Mm -hmm. But in this birth, it's easy to identify because when you are very young, we're very vulnerable. We look up to our caregivers mm -hmm. to support us and love us and take care of us. And let's face it, everybody themselves is in need of care and, and love and softness and kindness. And so our caregivers, um, if they've criticized us mm -hmm. at a very young, when we're very young age, when we need our caregivers to approve of mm -hmm. us, of guide us or show us care, show us love, when they in fact do the opposite, the opposite, then those emotions actually remain buried inside of ourselves and we don't know how to deal with those emotions. Okay. So then we turn that around on ourselves and we create this or create this negative feeling mm -hmm. or belief about our own selves. Okay. And so when we're alone, when we're taking time to be with ourselves, we know that some of these things are going to come up, okay. that I'm actually going to be, uh, I'm going to have to face 
mm-hmm. what's deeply latent inside my own self. Okay. And so then that's what we're afraid of. Mm-hmm. What will I do with that? Right. How will I deal, deal with, with that it, emotion right. when it comes up of pain or right. being let down or being hurt or, or whatever that might be? And so then we just say, okay, mm-hmm. let's just fill our lives with noise right. and images and people right. and action. Right. So there is no time to create that. Mm-hmm.